I've just noticed, by the way. Do you guys see that? It's constantly zooming in. Why is it constantly zooming in? Is that... No, it's constantly zooming in. What, what's it doing that for? What? what? <laughs> Why is it constantly zooming in? What is that noise? What is that noise? It's coming from an African room. What the? I wasn't there before. What, what happened to the big cabinet? What's this? There's a hammer on the floor. <sighs> Too right, we're packing up the fucking hammer. What the? It was a dream? Huh. But wait. You hear... You hear... You hear... You mean you actually do hear noises for real now? Like, not in the dream? The fireplace. Oh, oh, oh hold on. This, 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 this requires further inspection. I listened carefully as I moved the stethoscope around the fireplace. Yes, the noises are coming from there. But I still couldn't determine their source. Oh, God. Right, I think we... I listened carefully as I moved... Oh, wait, that was the same text. Right, as you can see, it's friggin'... That, well, actually, that might be the moon. Basement. <laughs> I don't want to go to the basement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, did you see that? The, the game did it again. I didn't move the mouse, you know, up like that. It just did it itself, you know. It's it's to give you the impression that there's some sort of noise in the characters. Michael suddenly jerked his head up to have a look. It, it, it makes me jump every time. Okay, it's it's scary shit. Okay, so, uh, he nearly did it again there. What, what's it doing that for? Okay. I thought by investigating, but I realized the basement would be pitch black at this time. I could go down there without some light. Well, we got a lantern. Uh, there's no oil in the lamp. Well, fuck me then. Okay. Well, I'm going back to bed then. Fuck this shit. Ain't no way I'm going down there. <laughs> I think that's what you do, actually. You just go back to bed. I'm still shaking though. Sunday, October 13th. Uh oh. Is that rain I hear? On the second day, a fierce storm assaulted the land. I could hear the trees crack, creaking, and ra or rather moaning. In the lashing of the rain, I quickly abandoned my hopes of having the power fixed. Oh dear. Jerry! You. Bastard! Where are ya? Get that goddamn phone, get that son of a bitch piece of my friggin' brain. Get my goddamn power out. It's fucking. I'm angry. You son of a bitch. Now, wait a minute. Three, two, 
one. I think he rings you. I think. Yeah, there we go. Hello. Michael, how are you doing over there? The sky is falling here. You mean this storm has hit there too? So the entire universe is falling here. I'm afraid to go outside. Well, the better then, as I won't be able to come for you. I'm deeply sorry, but it's seemingly impossible driving to Northumberland. Even less getting anywhere near the manor. I understand many of the roads are closed. So much for my hopes of seeing Mr. Electrician today, then. Ah, the benefits of being away from society, eh? I should have listened to you. Don't panic. I'll come right for you, as soon as this thing is over. You just hang on in there. It's not like I have any other choice, do I? I'm afraid not, my friend. This storm has the power to disturb the dead. Well, it seemed like this very same storm has awakened the evil spirits resting inside my new home. What's that? Not sure, but I happened to hear some odd sounds last night. Kind of scratching noises down in the basement. I do remember the cleaning lady saying something about rats. Unless we're talking about mutant rats here, I don't think that's the problem. Michael, my friend, you were tired from a long trip and stressed about the problems you found there. On top of that, you had moved to a very old house. Guess what's the most common complaint from people moving to old houses? Ghosts on the loose? Sort of. Now go focus on your book while you still have enough light. I'll be there as soon as possible. By the way, Michael, I have the combination for the safe right here. Oh, great. Tell me. Zero, three, two, one, one. Just remember to share it if you bump into any expensive jewelry. Of course I will. Bye. <laughs> I don't think jewelry is what's on Michael's head right now. Well, what's in his head. What's on his mind, rather. Uh, right, off to that safe then we go. Ooh, I wonder what we'll find, I wonder what we'll find! <laughs> okay, let's see. That's probably going to be really hard to hang with. Uh, basically, what you need to know is this is a deed for, like, uh, getting, um, you know, the house done up. Uh, different, uh, yeah, extensions on the house and whatnot. And there's a key here. Okay, I think I know what this key is for. I think. Um. Okay, guys, uh, you'll have to give me a minute because you know that item I keep going on about this screwdriver thing. Uh, we need that to use this key. Uh, back in a flash. Now, in fact, you guys can watch, right? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna uh, friggin' go on you, go on the friggin' Google, and you guys, you, you guys don't mind watching, right? You guys don't mind watching it all. all. You know, this is this is so fucking fun to watch. It. Thank you for the walkthrough, whoever made this, by the way. Um, uh, bor boring tool. Is that the one we need? Mask. Go to the desk and read the diaries. So it's down there. Hmm. I must have missed that then. See, that didn't take long, did it? Right, uh, let's go down and stare the new anyway. Yeah, we need, th uh, we need that boring tool as it was called. It's uh, near where that diary was. Uh, it'll be in the office, I... The third drawer down that walkthrough said. Ah, there it is. Completely missed that. See, I already looked for all these drawers, you know, so I really should have, uh... Really shouldn't have missed that. I uh, must have been in a rush or something. But yeah, this is what we need. Um, nah, actually, we want to go this way. Uh, 
Alright. Now you do this in a lot of point and click games I find. The majority of the ones I've played sort of uh, implement this trick. Okay, and you see it in the films all the time. Okay, now as we know there's a key at the other side of uh, this door. So, let's try and get it out, shall we? Put that newspaper under there and let's poke it out with the boring tool. Managed to knock down the key with the help of the boring tool. Alright, let's see what we got. I removed the piece of paper and noticed that the key had gotten stuck behind the door. Whoever said that dumb technique worked. Great, so the... F it didn't even work, but let's try this key. This might even be the wrong key and I'm mistaken, but let's try it anyway. Nope, I'm correct. Alright then. Hmm. Some sort of uh, artist's room going on here, and we can go into the other room there in a bit. <gasps> Hammer! I'm taking this! Oh, yeah. As if the knife we've got wasn't enough, you know? <laughs> Right, and ooh, interesting. Here we have plans for the house. Uh, there's the tower. Um, this is the. What floor is this? Ah, this is the first floor, yeah. Uh, here's the entrance, the telephone room, the dining room, the office, the sitting room, that hallway, kitchen, maid's room, uh, maid's uh, toilet. Ah, yeah, he points it out there for you. Ah, here's the second room, the staircase, uh, the hallway, Michael's room, uh, here's the bathroom, hallway again, uh, the sort of double bedroom, the African room, at what's this? That was odd, I don't remember seeing that, I don't remember seeing that room either, what is that? There was a room next to the master's room, with a window apparently, but we didn't see a door there. Hmm. And this is the uh, third floor, obviously. This is the room we're in right now. As Michael is pointing out there. Right. Interesting. What was that room all about? 